Corn School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Headline Amp Fungicide and Pride Seeds. Werner Tobin here on the Corn School. It has been wet, this crop is moving fast, and that has a lot of implications for corn growers, especially silage growers. To talk about that today, I'm joined by Albert Tenuta. He is Omafra's plant pathologist. Hi Albert, how's it going? Yeah, it's going great, Burn, and yourself? Look at this, this is a great crop. Look where we're at, we're at tassel, we're already at silking here. Yo, this is the question we're getting. So what do I do at this point? From a silage production standpoint, there's concerns, of course, with this weather that, hey, is disease going to have an impact on my feed quality? And, and that, and, and legitimate, it's been wet, it's been cool, the temperatures fluctuate and all that stuff. And, you know, when it comes to managing this crop, you know, that fungicide aspect is, is important, right? And, and a valid um, tool for both field crop producers and silage producers. Yeah, I want to talk about fungicides, but hey, let's talk about assessing this crop as yeah. we move through. Um, you know, what are we looking for? What are the telltale signs of trouble? Yeah, so first of all, you want to look at the, the, the health. Are we seeing things like northern corn leaf blight in there? Gray leaf spot, some of these other foliar leaf diseases. Um, tar spot is one that's getting a lot of attention as well. But from a silage standpoint, stock rots. Don't forget about those stock rots because they're an important factor overall in terms of your feed quality. Yeah. And what happens when we get a lot of stock rots into our silage, uh, Albert? What are we fearful of? Yeah, so we think about mycotoxins. Remember 2018? This year is gearing up to a big concern right now that we are going to see some silk infection and get our gibberella ear rot and dawn production, for instance, right? Mm -hmm. And for field crop producers, we just worry about the ear. Hey, for silage, you've got to worry about the ear. But hey, you're harvesting that whole plant now. So there's two contributions to that dawn test that you get. The amount of dawn you get in there is from the ear as well as the plant and particularly those stock rots. So tell us about fungicides, Albert. What's our strategy here for, especially if we're managing silage? Yeah, so on the silage side, getting a fungicide, if you're concerned about just quality, feed quality in that, lots of products out there that can help us in terms of, you know, making sure that we have the biomass we need and the quality that side as well. But if you're concerned about Dawn and mycotoxins, then there are, again, number of products that are targeting that aspect and trying to reduce the amount of Dawn in there. So choose your product first of all, know what your risks are in those fields, know what your hybrids are. And not only your hybrids in terms of Dawn production and concern there, but what's the stock rot ratings for those as well? Because your fungicides will help you with that as well. So consider that as well, really important. Final thing, timing and application, Albert. When do we need to be in there? You know, what's the best preventative, preventative timeline? Yeah, so on the fungicide standpoint, you know, as we start to get into tassel and you're looking at just the feed quality side, you know, tassel to silking is that, that, that sweet spot that we've seen a lot of, uh, that's where the best results have been from a fungicide application. If you're looking at it from the Dawn perspective, both for field corn and for silage, you wanna target these silks. This, these silks are just coming out. They're, they're out, they're a perfect stage right now, both for infection, but at the same time for protecting from infection with gibberella. You wanna get the product on this silk in a timely fashion so it gets you the biggest bang for your buck. You get protection, you limit that infection, and hopefully you'll limit or greatly reduce your Dawn levels. Great stuff, Albert. Always fun to have you on the Corn School. Thank you so much.